hello everyone hope you're well in this video i will be showing you what i've done to change the video bitrate on my bebop 2 from 30 megabits per second to 40 megabits per second and also disable the noise reduction now before i go into this i want to make a big disclaimer and this disclaimer is i will not be responsible if you damage your drone this process disables noise reduction and increases the video bitrate to 40 megabits per second. Why 40 megabits per second from the original 30 megabits per second? There's a slight difference which I've noticed in the, um, uh, the definition in the videos where a lot more detail, I wouldn't say a lot more, but there was marginally uh, somewhat better detail in the 40 megabits per second video as opposed to the 30 megabits per second video. I don't have any um, scientific comparisons, this is just me gauging um, from viewing the footage and disabling noise reduction if you fly after sunset or before sunrise or when it's really really low light low lit this video isn't for you you are going to be disappointed you will scream at me for telling you to disable noise reduction because this introduces a lot of noise when it's um, low lit but the plus side is when it is well lit you will also notice a, a very very big difference in the amount of sharpness that you can get in a, I wouldn't say sharpness but details as well because noise reduction sort of softens everything out sort of blends pixels together okay so what you will need is your bebop 2 beautiful bebop 2 make sure the battery is fully charged you'll need a laptop either a mac or a windows so windows a mac whichever works for you whichever one you have and you need uh, a software called putty putty is the easiest uh, sort of um, shell command uh, application you can use to tell net it's the easiest way instead of doing all those uh, uh, so so putty is just a uniform software that we can all use together and i've created the tutorial using putty just to keep things simple once the software is installed you will need to disable all uh, ethernet connections on your laptop and make sure the only Wi-Fi connection it makes is to the beautiful Bebop. So first thing you need to do is power on the Bebop. Ah, the beautiful four beeps of I'm working. Wait for the Bebop to boot up. I'm just going to try and grab focus on the Bebop. There we go. Beautiful Bebop. Once the drone is powered on, you will need to enable Telnet on the drone because by default you will not be able to connect uh, with the telnet uh, into the drone because it, it's sort of skewed. So to enable telnet connection, while the drone is fully powered, press four times quickly. One, two, three, four. And that is it. That is all you do. You will not get any confirmation beeps or anything. So if you've done it right, your telnet will work. So now we will go into the desk and I will narrate what I'm doing on the software. The drone is then connected via Wi-Fi to your computer and you will use a software called Putty. This will enable you to connect to the drone via Telnet and the IP address is 192.168.42.1. Please select Telnet on Putty, that is the connection method and open. This will now open this screen which is the um, starting base or the insides of the of the drone the first thing we need to do is make the directory editable and to do this we type in mount space dash o small o space remount comma r w space backslash backslash and press enter we can now navigate to the folder bin and to do this we type in cd space usr backslash bin press enter we are now in the bin directory we will create a backup of the file that we are going to edit. To create a backup, type in cp dragon starter. That's dragon with a capital D and starter with a capital S. Dot sh space dragon starter. 
old with a capital O dot sh. This command will create a copy of the dragon starter dot sh file and the copy will be named dragon starter old dot sh. Press enter. It has now created dragon starter. What we will do now is edit the uh, dragon starter dot sh file using v. To do this, we type in v bi space dragon starter dot sh. This is uh, case sensitive, so make sure you have your capital D and capital S. Press enter. We are now inside the dragon stutter dot sh and we can input our command that we want to make changes with. So you will navigate down to this area mm -hmm. and post command. We'll press I, which is the insert, and we will type in dash capital I space off space dash small b space 40,000 four zero one two three forty thousand once you have done press escape and now hold down shift and press z two times and that is it we can quit I cannot take credit for all of these for any of this because I would accredit the people that spent a lot more time investigating this and being able to issue this for us to use and also there was a person that emailed me and suggested that I do this video and helped me along the way so thank you very much for that. Uh, you know who you are, you don't want to be named, that's fine.